Yo, it's your boy Sunny Digital, man. You know I'm rocking with DJ Booth, man. You already know what time it is. We here right now. So you, can you kind of take me back to that time there when you made raps? Um, I can take you back to the. I can take you back like to the time of me making that beat. Like um, you know um. In your career, how are you kind of? I mean, before that, I can take you to the time when I was exactly like at the time when I was making that beat. You know what I'm saying? Um. It was around the time when KE was popping, and I was just trying to make beats like KE. <laughs> For real, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, it was, I had man, my whole career, like up until like to where I start kind of like developing my own sound. I was just really just taking everybody's sound and just making it into my own. Like Marvelous J, I don't know if you remember him. That's a long time ago. He was really popping out here. He had a lot of songs on Rocco or whatever. And um, I was just I took his style. Did my thing, moved on. I, I perfected that to to the best of my knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Did that, moved on, and then um, um, who else? I took um, <laughs> Kes. That's what Rex on Rex came about. Though I actually used the Ke sound kit in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Am I able to cuss on here? Yeah. Oh, alright, cool. <laughs> alright, cool. I'm sorry, but um, um. Nah, no, we're just talking. Man. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you yeah, I, the kit for yeah, I did. I used the KE kit for that and made a hit out of that motherfucker though. But I remember it though. And, like the original beat sound like not way different though. It's just like it's mixed way different though. Like I had certain certain different things turned up. Like like I don't know. Like the I mean the 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 mix one is pretty amazing though. But I had my own version that I had too though. That was just my version though. You know what I'm saying? I still got it. But another thing too, like man. That place was like good luck and it was bad luck at the same time too, cause I was catching a lot of hits out of there though. But as I was catching them though, all of my fucking hard drives kept on crashing on me. I was dropping them, they were just crashing on me. Couldn't recover them, spilling shit on them. You know what I'm saying? So every time I got a hit, I got back. You know what I'm saying? I had to keep on going back. You know what I'm saying? Like every time I got a hit, got a hit. Everybody calling my phone though, but my hard drive just crashed. So shit, I gotta go overtime and try to like facilitate everybody needs, you know what I'm saying? Try to get everybody beats and stuff though, you know what I'm saying? So I mean it was fun but it was hard at the same time though too. And on top of that too, like I was in a, a real fucked up situation to me, you know what I'm saying? To where somebody was taking a lot of my money wasn't helping my career out at all though. So I'm slaving over here, trying to keep up with my name and stuff and keep up with my work. As I'm slaving, somebody's taking half of my money, you know what I'm saying? And in I, a situation maybe yeah, from the outside, it may look like you're super successful, you're getting all these hits, but mm -hmm. for you, you know, you're not seeing that same level of... Nah, level. you know, like, even even right now, like, a lot of people look at me like, man, like, I done just done so much shit, though, man. I feel like I'm just now kind of getting over the, the bridge of doing something, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I feel like I've been trying to get out of something for a long time or try to catch up, like, like I said, catching up to your name, like... Like, my name might be all the way over there. Like, people think this of me, though, but shit, I'm, like, realistically, I'm all the way back here. I'm trying to catch up to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, people gonna perceive this shit as they want to. You know what I'm saying? They think that, they think a nigga just got, like, all the money in the world. They think it's just just all glam and glitz. You know what I'm saying? They think we just catching hits. Just like, like, it's like just a easy task just to go, go and catch a hit. I mean, it is easy, though, but it's, it's, it's still a process, though. You know what I'm saying? Once you get in there, though, it's, it's pretty easy, though, but it's still a process, though. But... Like I said, like, 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 what I'm saying basically, like, man, that that whole part, of, like, catching up with your name, though. And I'm thinking, like, right now, right now, when I'm at, though, I'm finally starting to catch up with my name, though. A lot of people, like, um, like Metro Boomer, I don't feel like he had to really, like, go into that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he kept it steady with his name. Like, he didn't go, he didn't come out like with no fucked up situations. Everything was all good, though. So as his name got bigger, him as a person got bigger too. You know what I'm saying? Like, versus like me, you know what I'm saying? My name just got way bigger than me as a person. You know what I'm saying? Got way bigger than me. Yeah, yeah, y'all, you know who it is, the D-Block General. It was poppin' Kendrick Lamar right here outside the booth. Shout out to J Booth TV. Booth.net. You watching Outside the Booth TV.